Hello, welcome. Good morning. Good evening. Good happy time wherever you are at whatever time it is. I'm going to start off with a light worker card. Please, if you've not subscribed, consider liking the video. It's 100% free. Ooh, right. And it helps me a ton. Mm -hmm. It showed up. So now that I've had my Starbucks, I had to go. I had to go get a Starbucks today. Usually buy the concentrate stuff from the store that's exactly like it and make my own, but I'm out. So I treated myself this Sunday. Hopefully you're treating yourself. Hopefully you've been treating yourself all weekend long. If you're somebody whose weekend falls on the actual weekend, not a weekday. Although, you know, if they named it appropriately, it would be Saturdend, not Saturday, and Sundend, meaning the weekend versus Friday, Wednesday. Anyway, the initiation rite of passage crossing. The threshold, so collective. This is gonna yeah, feel serious. <clears throat> Initiation. What are you being initiated into? For some of you, it, since it is Sunday, it could be a spiritual quest. What are you being called to step up and lead? priestess here she showed up in the last reading in the major arcana high priestess what else do we have here this collective just an old-fashioned love song playing on the radio what lights you up star seeds what is it do, 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 do. Is it music? Just an old love song. Da, 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 you and me. A little three dog night, maybe. Who doesn't like some three dog night? I mean, come on. Three part harmony. He even says it in the song. Like show, showing off. Show you what I can do. Check me out. I'll even put it in the song. No explaining necessary there. Unlike Tara, where we have to ask all the questions all the time. You don't have to though, right? But. There's some swirling energy is what I was feeling. So gosh, tap in, tap in, tap in and see what's going on. So already we have this initiation, priestess and star seed. We will see what these cards say, how this relates to the collective today. Yes. Can't you see? Oh, can't you see what that woman been doing to me? I'm going to do a past, present, future here for you today. I haven't done one of those in a while. This page of cups. Somebody wanting to offer you some definite love, considering I figured this was going to be a love reading today. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so already you have the page of cups, which... um, You know, it's pretty coming to tell you... Let's just say, remember, somebody told Mary that she was going to have a baby. So that's what the Page of Cups is kind of about for some people. Okay. So if that resonates with you and you're like, whoa, I don't want, okay, then take precaution. Okay. Because it could be coming towards you. 
And then especially the follow-up to that being the Ace of Wands. Somebody really wanting um, to have some passion with you. Perhaps a fire sign. Somebody saying that you're the thing that lights them up. You are the one giving that fire that's out of control. Okay? And I feel like it's so out of control that somebody did done burn it down. And it's like, you can see all this darkness. You can see all this ashes. Somebody really like ripped this to shreds. And it's like, they see you now as this kind of like light at the end of the tunnel. Which is kind of weird when you talk about a person. It's more of, you know, an energy. You know, think of it that way. Because people, that's what why people get hung up on attachment, right? Because they think it's all coming from a certain person. And it's like, you know what? Maybe that person's really a jerk. Have you ever been around them? Just saying, okay? So <clears throat> there's a perspective and then there's reality, right? So just keep that in mind. All right. Because yeah, that looks real attractive. Somebody coming to towards you with this Ace of Wands. when right they could leave you in a three of swords now that being said i don't feel like this is what this person is coming to do i feel like they are coming to heal a situation i feel like it has to do with this priestess here it's almost like this initiation as well, collective. I'm feeling that this initiation is your opportunity to move beyond something that has left you in darkness. Moving beyond the obvious, right? The, oh, it's heartbreak all over the city tonight. Oh, everybody take a pause now and let's mourn. Because yet another relationship didn't work out. Blah, 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 right? Who's tired of that, right? What's left? This is let the healing begin, right? Okay. Maybe for you, this message is that water could be very healing for you. The beach, you know, which, right? Who... Oh, you mean I'm going to feel better by going to the beach? Okay. <laughs> um, Not only will I take your word for it, I'm going to do it and see if it works for me. Find your beach today. Right. All right. Let's clarify this page of cups over here, full of mystery and intrigue. What is this message about, really? Paige, please tell us. Mm. For some of you, this is motherhood. Ace of Swords, the truth. Truth of the matter is, for some of you, this is motherhood. May not look like the motherhood you wanted, but what mother actually gets that? Right? Just remember what a peach you were to your own mother. Okay. Right? Isn't that how it goes? Now. Because a priestess, a mother must lead their family. The matriarch. There's a patriarch as well. It's not just one or the other. It didn't get created in a silo. And, you know, a test tube baby still has to have more than one piece to make it the magic happen. Okay. Seven of swords. There's that strategy again. So learning out of your mistakes, collective, and... Finding the type of mindset that is going to carry all of this forward. It's 
So how are you being called? And then the next year is, is what lights you up. So it's like, this, how are you being called? This could even be for some of you. And it might be a little weird at first, but when you, people say like, listen to your intuition, listen to your, there it is, Jesus. I never really know why I'm doing a video until it, you know, and I was just thinking about this yesterday. So I think this is important to share because when people talk about, you know, some of these readers, they talk about spirit guides and your ancestors. And it's like, what are these people talking about? Okay. Well, have you ever had somebody that was a strong figure in your life and you took their advice and it's like, you hear their voice in your head, you know? And I explained this to a doctor of mine one time. <clears throat> I'm like, no, it's not like somebody sitting here and saying to me something like that's not, it's not coming from there. Right. I'm hearing the message that that energy wants to communicate. Okay. And it could be as simple as remember to brush your teeth before you go to bed. Right. Isn't that like some motherly advice, some parental advice? It's kind of like that. Drink your water, mind your business. That's pretty popular out there, isn't it? Mm hmm Okay. So you know, there's the angel and then there's the devil, right? Who are you gonna listen to? Are you gonna listen to the drink your water, right? Or are you gonna listen to the uh, whatever that is for you? Okay. So when people talk about listening to your guides, listening to your spirit guides, your ancestors, it's like, well, what would my grandmother say if she was here right now? Can you imagine it? Use your imagination. And if you are somebody that um, I feel like has or had a good relationship with that person, a very heart centered relationship with that person, you're going to be able to hear and and sense what they would want for you. So imagine if you were in their shoes and you're giving you the advice, right? You know, it's always easier to give somebody else advice than yourself. So put yourself in those shoes and then you'll you'll start to So there's a brief synopsis, okay, of what uh I'm talking about and what other people are talking about. Now, other people can give you a different explanation. That's mine. So, you know, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. It's okay. That's how it works for me. Okay. So, and that lights me up to be able to share that with you. Okay. Because a lot of people, they'll be like, I'm hearing things. It's just like, where did that come from? You know what I mean? And some of that could be your ancestors. That could be, that could be things that you're like, I would never say that, especially if it's something that's like, I would never say that. It's like, well, who is saying that? Okay. Don't be afraid of it. Okay. Page of Pentacles. I almost wonder sometimes when I see those people on the street, like talking to themselves, I'm like, are they talking to their spirit guides right now? I hope they're telling them something good. Right. So page of Pentacles <clears throat> on top of this ace of wands. The new beginning of something successful, something abundant. Is that going to light you up, collective? I would hope so. I would hope so. So what else do we have here? The Ten of Swords. You know, it doesn't light me up. Ten of Swords, right? Talk about major healing. Maybe this is part of what lights you up is being able to help others heal. And for some of you, you've been trying to monetize that. Okay. 
Like, uh, I know somebody, a friend of mine who has a spiritual based business and she's trying to get clients right now. Okay. So that could be something similar to what, you know, you might be resonating with okay, here, especially with this, this 10 of swords. Okay. Right. But out of some of those darkest times, we creatively come up with solutions that are going to work for us, don't we? And isn't that something to get excited about? So yeah, it's like, oh, what lights me up? Boom. And maybe as a star seed, you know, maybe, you know, and you don't mind now, you're like, what's a star seed? Like, don't worry, don't worry so much about that. It's, 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 it's tapping into what your purpose you know, having that purpose driven life. I think there's even a book called that or something. It was probably on Oprah, you know, for those of us who remember Oprah, there's like a whole generation of people who were never even exposed to Oprah. Okay. So think about that when you're out there conversing with folks, it's a whole new world. I mean, the digital age has brought us together, but it's also shown us what um things we still have to bridge the gap okay and maybe that's part of this initiation for you collective is maybe you want to close that gap between the light and the dark here maybe that's what your initiation is going to be right now <clears throat> maybe it's going through shadow work maybe it's leading somebody else through shadow work Right? Yeah. And it's like, how do I find somebody certified to lead me through shadow work? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. To me, it's just a very personal thing. Now, here's my two cents on taking two cents from anybody else. Make sure you want your life to look like their life before you start taking advice from them. Because that's what people do. They tell you how they would do things. Right? And look at the results of their life. That may be a little harsh for some people to swallow. That is, that's how the world works, okay? Now, some may be like, well, you can, you can get good advice from people that, potentially. Are they taking their own advice? There's another thing too, right? King of Pentacles <laughs> and the Nine of Cups, both very, very nice cards. Um, a King of Pentacles potentially wanting to come on and heal this with you because they see how um, stable you are. Um, and when I say stable, it's not, this is, this is a Nine of Cups here. So this is about, you know, emotional stability. This is, again, somebody who knows how to move through the heartbreak and, you know, make it work for you, right? And this is very attractive, you know, potentially an earth sign here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is very attractive. Okay. I'm going to get some clarifiers. I feel like there's some questions. I can feel you. I can, I'm telling you, this is how... I knew, I knew as soon as I said that. King of Pentacles, it's like, who's this King of Pentacles? Let's see if we can find out some more information on the person or persons that the collective is from. Now, keep in mind, I did start this out as a love reading. However, it kind of took a turn, didn't it? Into what's your purpose? So, if you have not yet found your purpose and you have not yet found your person, maybe that's why. Because you're not in your purpose yet. When you're for a different purpose, maybe one that doesn't suit you, there's going to be all sorts of people in your life, right? Because that purpose may be suiting them and not you. Newsflash. Sorry if I have to be the one to tell you that, but again, that's the way the world works a lot of times, okay? Sorry if you're experiencing that just now. Because those people... Bunches. Okay. 
you may want to look at my previous reading if this, uh, that comment resonates with you. It's not all people are good people out there, okay? And that's why there's these energy. It's like, you're not crazy. It's like, you feel vibes are real. And then one day somebody's going to be surprised. They're like, oh, you know, I haven't seen so-and-so. Really? I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because you've treated so-and-so like crap. And they decided they just weren't going to take him anymore. You can throw, you, you ever been to the, the circus where they throw the swords? Spin the wheel, throw the swords. Guess what? You don't have to be getting up on the big board and getting thrown at. You can take your ticket or walk on by like a whole bunch of other people do and say, you know what? I don't have time for that mess. Think about that. Think about that, Jake. Okay. Clarifying now the page of cups. Ace of Pentacles wanted to come out a little sideways. Again, big earth energy. So if there is somebody who wants to start a family with you, guess what would go nicely with that? A big offer of stability. Mm -hmm. Virgo Capricorn Taurus, perhaps. But that doesn't come from an individual. It is granted perhaps through an individual from the universe, okay? When they're living in their purpose. Now we all have choices. Nobody's going to force your hand. Nobody. Exactly. Put an end to that myth. Use your own discernment means not just acting in inaction. It means actually writing on, carrying on. Some people have trouble doing that. And it's like marching in place. You ever seen the horses when they just make them, they just make them march in place in front of the judges? It's kind of like that. If you want to do that for the rest of your life, Again, you can. I wouldn't recommend it. And again, that might be the hard truth of the matter. So if you're not getting this complete offer around this page of cups, Seven of Swords is like... Well, I've seen this before. Haven't you? Mm -hmm. Tell me how you're going to do it this time. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Talk to me. Let's make a deal. Is it even possible? Whatever it is, it's going to be a new chapter here for you, collective. I don't know if the Knight of Swords is going to make the cut. Remember, you have a King of Pentacles over here. And right on top of it, here she is again, the High Priestess. She's healed herself. I don't know why there's a movie, but the name is coming to me. It's called Drag You Back to Hell. I've never even seen it. But I feel like for some of you, if you get reinvolved with this person, that's exactly what it's going to be. It's I'm going to bring you back into all my crap. I'm going to bring you back into all my backstabbing, all my lies, all my blah, 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 blah. Because they're not ready to heal. Like you already have. That's what I'm getting is the message right now. Page of Cups again. 
So again, be wary if you're not ready to hop on into a full-on situation with somebody. And just remember, not everybody wants the best for you. That could be whoever this is coming towards you. Trying to explain. Oh, baby, you know I didn't mean that. Of course not. Of course not. Nobody ever means what they do, right? If you want to continue dealing with children, those are the kind of explanations you're going to get. People who can surprisingly pay their bills, but their emotional maturity is very low because they don't think before they do. They just do. They don't think about the consequences of their actions. Not think about this collective. If they don't care what happens to themselves by getting themselves into these situations, you think they're really going to care about what happens to you? As a result, in fact, that means you're the furthest thing from their mind. So again, you want to listen to excuses? This is where you go. On the dark side of the street. I did not think this message was going to turn out so, like, kind of, right? A little different than the start of the video. Sorry, guys. King of Pentacles, clarify. Yeah. Collective, I feel like you were just so over it. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, this is you. This is you. You're like, oh, there's King of Pentacles. Well, let me show him my Queen of Pentacles action. What do you think about that? And you're just like, yeah. Maybe you two are going to talk about what you've had to go through to become that King or Queen of Pentacles, right? What about that? What about that? Oh, no. Here comes the card flying on the floor. Probably ahead. Here. It's right on top. Oh. Nine of Cups on top of the Nine of Cups. Let's just try to shift the puzzle. Clarify this Nine of Cups. Every little thing's gonna be alright. Isn't it collective? Don't worry. This is hilarious. One of the first songs I heard this morning was Eye of the Tiger. Seven of Wands. Dun, 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 dun. It's like, back off, back off, back off. Yeah. And you know what? It's already like, what time? And she's already got her heels on, right? She's <laughs> like, I'm busy crossing threshold here. I ain't got time for the haters. I ain't got time for the waiters. I ain't got time for the busy later taters. Right? Because my time is the now. The wands are about the now. What else came out earlier, collective? The now of the ace of wands. This is coming to you. What you do with that energy and how you shift it is up to you. Right? You can wrap it up into another person or you can let it allow and to come to you so that it is, yeah, something that protects you, something that guides you, something that sets you up to be exactly where you need to be. Okay. I feel like I need to get some breakfast food in. Stupid. Oh. It's like looks like the exact same card too, like between both decks. Isn't that funny that I'm using today? Yeah, we ain't got time for that. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, this illusion of it, it's it's gone. It's gone. 
I feel like somebody wanted you to be all wrapped up in like this. I'll never love again. Guess what, Collective? It ain't that hard, is it? I mean, I guess it depends on what level of relationship you want. So if somebody treats you as a trinket at the fair, feel free to return that favor. Oops, where'd that card go? Exactly. Who gives a flying leap at that point? Please. Give me something good. Give me something stable. All right, collective, please manifest wisely. Please, please, please like or subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this message and drop a comment. Go get you some. Get you what comes to you, right? What's deserved for you, right? Not the projections, the disappointments of others. Hmm? What lights you up inside, collective? How are you being called the lead? All right. Please manifest wisely. Until next time, and please subscribe. Bye-bye.